we've arrived on the uh, negative pressure ward. This used to be our coronary care unit. Uh, it's been rejigged as a negative pressure ward. So uh, Luke Howard is with us again. And so Luke, uh, uh, the purpose of this ward again? So this will be where we uh, undertake non-invasive ventilation and aerosol generating procedures. Okay, so at the moment there are no patients in there, so we can uh, we can go in with our camera crew without donning full PPE just to show you the environment. And so perhaps if uh, Luke, you want to walk through, and we'll, we'll the camera will just sort of follow through. Sure. So let's let's go through. I'll open the doors as well, so the camera can pan inside. So this is the uh, this is the donning and doff the, do the doffing area. The donning area we can don outside, but this is the doffing area, and you can see that we've got. Uh, a plastic covering this area and inside we'll have uh, five beds uh, which are going to be uh, our uh, negative pressure ventilation beds. Okay. We've now transferred inside the room and Luke do you want to come through? Okay so large plastic sheet and I think uh, as you pan across you'll see that our beds are all set up uh, with no patients at the moment. Um, so. Luke, how does, how does the negative pressure ventilation work here? So what we've got is we've got these two large fans. Uh, one is to be running uh, one time only. So that one over there is to be running the day shift. And the one on the right that you won't have in your screen at the moment is to be running at night shift. Uh, uh, so we have two at any one time uh, because they can only really run for about 12 hours at a time. So uh, they extract air um, through this uh, HEPA filter. Air is drawn through uh, through the sort of the leaks around the door uh, and through that flap that you saw, and it's drawn through this filtering system here uh, and then pumped outside into the outside environment. Great, so let's switch it on uh, and we can hear the noise because we'll have to cope with the noise inside the PPE. It is quite noisy. Uh, of course, CPAP will be noisy for the patients too. So there's quite a noise that's generated from that. But after a while, it might become a bit of background white noise up on the home. Okay, so uh, before you switch it off, Luke, we're going to focus on the plastic of the door. So if we focus on the plastic of the door, we'll swing the camera around, and when Luke switches it off, the noise will disappear, and we'll hear the plastic moves a little bit. This is a good 10, 12 feet away from the fan, and so it's going to try and detect that small change in movement. So Luke, if you want to switch that off, 